Aries. Okay, dokie. Welcome. This is your reading for 2021. Um, so we're looking at sort of like, you know, everything that brought you to where you currently are as you go into this new phase of 2021, which is a new year, which is a new cycle. All right. Um, I know that sometimes, you know, we would say like, you know, if the reading doesn't resonate with you, but uh, especially with this kind of reading, it's one of those that it might not initially resonate with you, but you know, you go down like a week, you know, a month down the line, a day down the line sometimes, and then you realize like, oh my goodness, this actually makes perfect sense. So I would encourage you to look at the whole reading from beginning to end and if it still doesn't resonate then in the description down below there's a link that says um, free natal chart check that out and then see where your placements are and then you know for a specific energy or whatever it is that you'd like to know you can then look at that specific reading you know with that sort of zodiac sign all right I want to really, really thank all of you so, 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 so much for all your beautiful support that you've given through me, especially through 2020. I think it's been one of the toughest years of everybody's life, but we all made it. Here we are, you know, um, and I'd like to welcome you all to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Adrian. I'm an intuitive healer. I practice holistic wellness. And, you know, I bought this beautiful deck of cards, spell casting, oracle. I bought it specifically for this 2021 reading. So let's see what we have for you. Then we're going to take a look at your tarot. We're going to take a look at your oracle. And we're going to finish off with a message from the universe for you. So quite a nice jam-packed reading there for you. And for those of you that were completely blown away by my thumbnail, which is so beautiful. Um, they are created for me by my best friend who's a graphic designer and social media manager. And she trades under the brand AC Digital Marketing Solutions. And there's a link down below in the description if you want to contact her directly. All right. Card that came out for you says trust. This is such a wonderful card to get because as we're obviously, you know, moving into 2021, none of us really know what's going to happen, you know. Um, I mean, a lot of us kind of felt that we had the carpet, carpet ripped up from underneath us several times, you know, in this past couple of months. Um, so there is quite a lot of uncertainty going around in the air. So this card confirms for you that, you know, with your earth incarnation, with a soul having a human being experience, you know, many of you all are very concerned about jobs and money and relationships relationships and all those type of things and health and whatever um, this confirms for you that the universe is taking care of your needs for you all right so let's see what we're going to use for you for tarot we are using the light seer's tarot lovely stuff one of my favorite decks even though i love them all okay Oh, look at you, Aries. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Never ceases to surprise. If there's one thing I know about an Aries is that they never cease to surprise. And that's what I love about you. Okay. So, this speaks about, you know, this is so wonderful. <clears throat> Sorry. And this is the things that I like so much about, you know, um, Aries energy specifically, is that you make the best of the situation that comes around. You know, if life's going to give you lemons, I know I use this analogy for a different sign. The other day, I can't remember which one it was. Um, but if life is going to give you lemons, you know, um, you're going to make key lime pie and you're going to make, um, you know, if you're in South Africa, it's lemon meringue, which is like key lime pie, but it just has some sort of like, um, almost like buffalo over on top. It's quite lovely. Um, you know, you're going to make everything. You're going to even make lemon sweets. You're going to go Google stuff to break. All right. So this is you taking the good, taking the dark, moving forward. And, you know, even when I look at that, you know, I'm even thinking my, um, I recently teamed up with an international company to create a crystal healing course and as soon as it's available um you know i will give you guys the link on future um videos so you know if you if you're not subscribed to the channel you're more than welcome to subscribe you can check that out but um the you know my team leader is an aries and she is incredible like incredible you know um i mean when i first started i like guys i don't know i don't think this is the environment for me I don't think I can do this. Um, but, you know, that beautiful Aries, they, you know, they just have the thing where they are able to, um, to just pull you through everything. Okay. And what I like is, oh, what's, what's, what's happening over there? Those are, this is for your overall energy, but these are too many cards. I'm just going to draw again for that. Um, so if you give me just one moment, ah, there we go, and it's falling again. <laughs> 
it's usually very direct messages to me when it falls. Two cards actually, let's see what's going on over here. Okay, so this is you really, you know, as we said, you know, what brought you to where you currently are. This is you taking all the, you know, um, all the so-called negative, you know, all the difficulty, everybody that's, you know, struggling to deal with things. Um, really being in the best light in every person, in every situation, in everything, which is fantastic. That is sort of like one of your superpowers, really. Um, that's kind of like the thing that defines you, you know, that you can sort of like create magic out of thin air, that you can bring the best out of other people, that you've got this compassion going on, and, you know, that you can sort of like roll the dice and, um, you know, be able to um, create balance where somebody else would not really be able to make sense of this chaos. So this is you in your superpower, having been able to do that a lot. But now where you currently are, um, I feel that it's, it's like you're looking at your life and you're beginning to look at your life and you're like, you know, it's like searching for some sort of purpose. It's almost like from the best of intentions, you kind of started to get yourself a little bit tangled up, you know, and on the outside, it might appear that everything is absolutely fine and it's gorgeous and it's flying and it's wonderful, but inside it might be a little bit of a different story, all right? Um, it might be time to speak to someone, um... And not in a capacity that you're sort of like, you know, losing your mind, but um, sometimes we all just need to talk to someone because it's the speaking that, some, that, you know, often gets us the, you know, the clarification, the realization. Um, it sort of clears the way for us to find the solution because we don't have that constant sort of thinking in our mind, you know, and the needing to be strong. Because I do feel that for many of you, there's a need to be strong, but inside it's really beginning to actually build up for you. So you want to be mindful of that. Um, coming forward for you though this is really really fantastic um i feel as you're going towards 2021 or the time of 2021 is coming towards you there's definitely travel involved for you um there is i feel that there's emotional choice it's almost like um i feel and, and for many of you this might be a really fantastic message um i feel that you you know, that some of you may have, you know, um, you may have let go of a situation, you know, um, or maybe somebody let go of you, um, or maybe somebody passed, or, you know, there's somebody here that was in your life that is not so prevalent in your life, like physically prevalent in your life anymore. Um, it, it still feels like you're sort of like, I don't know, playing like the nicey-nicey game over here. Like, you know, somebody's not fully in your life, but they're not completely out of your life. And um, I feel that... It's, it's like you are going forward into new situations with new people, with new connections. This could be love. This could be, you know, just a connection with yourself, with life. But there's a moving away from a situation that might have, in a sense, um, and I feel this is also what kind of got you stuck at the moment because it's almost like you can't sort of give attention to that situation right now. So it's like you were quite, you know, you were doing quite well with maintaining that particular situation, but now the way things um, that they are, um, everything's a little bit overwhelming, you know, the plate's a little bit full and it's starting to wobble around a little bit, like it's, it's almost like it's too heavy on the one side, you know, and you can't sort of balance it so well anymore. Um, and I also feel that, um, you know, that the cracks might be starting to show. But the good news is that as you're moving forward, um, there's a sense of, um, I don't feel like fully the sort of like emotional connection going away, but you're making a choice and you're choosing to move forward in a way that actually, you know, suits you, fits you, defines you best, more honestly, that, you know, that fits your heart in a much kinder way. Um, also, there's a lot of release taking place. There's a lot of, as you're moving forward, there's a lot of more moving into the um, the you know that emotional side, this emotional maturity that's um, that's um, coming about for you. Not meaning that you're not emotionally mature right now, but um, you know there's a um, it's, it's like a sort of like a fortitude basically, you know, um, moving forward, and um, there's a lot of the things that might have been holding you back, a lot of secret suffering that you may have had, um, you know, putting patches on things. Um, you're letting go of that. And I feel that the world is seeing more of you, of who you are, um, a more honest sort of version of who you are. Not like you were trying to hide away before, but, um, you know, sort of like for the greatest good of all and for everyone else's welfare and benefit and things like that, you know, um, you may have uh, sort of taken a little bit of a back step, okay? Not doing it anymore. Good. 
right now overall energy um you were a little bit fed up over here you know this is like you know what i tried my best in thought yeah whatever i tried my best in, in emotions yeah whatever i tried my best in you know um in in, in in all phases you know the logic the emotional the whatever it doesn't seem to be working i'm just gonna you know i'm not even gonna think about it i'm just gonna give my brain a little bit of a chill and i'm gonna see where this is gonna go maybe next year i don't know i just feel kind of like i'm running myself in a circle right now and i'm not prepared to do that anymore it's also i feel for many of you you're realizing how much you can do and how much you can't do all right because you were playing a bit of a superman superwoman type of thing going on there all right you are not a marvel character um clarifying using the gilded tarot Alrighty. Listen to me announcing things like it's all crazy. <laughs> all right. Be kind to me. I've been working all day long. <laughs> I'm a little bit crazy. Okay, so let's draw a card for that overall energy, for that um, trust. Because look at that divine light shining through for you. This is solutions coming through for you. You know, and if that really resonates with you, open your heart, open your mind, open your soul to it. All right. Um, there are... Um, many of you might feel like you're on a crossroads. This emotional crossroads thing is coming out again because I've got two of ones and I've got two of ones again. So the, um, it's where you currently also are. It's sort of like um, choosing like a maybe like an unexpected sort of emotional path, you know. An option that you maybe didn't realize might happen or might not happen quite so soon, you know. Um... And if it's love for you guys, believe me when I say this from my heart, so happy for you all. Okay. Alrighty. So, so with everything that's leading towards where you are, okay. So I feel that you started to, it's, it's almost like you let go of a situation, you know, in the past, um, you know, maybe released, um, this could maybe be, say for example, um, you know, you maybe wanted to do a different job, um, and you realized maybe the time wasn't right right now. So it's not like the decision was wrong. It's more like the timing was sort of off. You need, you need to, re uh, to, um, to, to wait a little. Um, I feel for some of you, it's almost like your health may have suffered. Your health may have suffered in some ways. There was some sort of delay, but it's, so it's almost like you made the right decision. But the timing, you sort of realize um, that, and especially for bodily issues, I don't know, for many of you, I sort of get like the gums. So if you maybe had some trouble with that, you know, chewing or something um that you needed to wait a little bit for that but then again i see the same pattern returning in the future or coming towards you so whatever it was that you needed to move away from that you needed to sort of like you know cut your ties from cut clear from and you know the timing was just off at the time and you're like oh my goodness it's not going to work the good news is that that particular situation is coming to an end and it's actually coming to a beautiful end um especially confirmed by those two you know, um, two of ones twice down for you, and then two of swords twice down, okay? Now, let's just get you one more card here just to get you some sort of clarification. All right. Yeah. You knew that you had to deal with someone, something. It was very, very clear, um... It was the right thing to do, but it's it's like the, you know, your your emotional investment was required somewhere else. Okay. Now where you currently are, my goodness, listen, 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 listen. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, Aries. Things are very upside down here at the moment. You know, um, emotionally it's upside down, and as I said, the cracks are beginning to show. So, maybe not to everyone, but to those paying close attention, you know. Um, and I feel that for some of you, it might even be that you might be avoiding certain situations. Like you're hanging out with your friends, but you're not hanging out with your family members or your close friends, for example. Because you won't be able to fool them. Um, you know, and you're like, oh, I'm just so busy. I wish I could hang out with you all, but I'm just so busy. Um, 
yeah, that situation needs to be dealt with. Something needs to be dealt with here. Um, you can't pretend that you are fine continuously. This this thing is going to catch up on you. Let's see what's going on here. You know what? I feel that there's a grand opportunity for many of you here at the moment, you know, um, especially with, with personal success. And you may be sort of turning a blind eye to that or turning your back on that, you know, for what you would see as the greatest good because you feel that you need it somewhere else. Um, let's look at this overall energy. I don't know if this is the best decision. I don't know if you're making the best choice right now. We're obviously going to look at what's coming towards you, but let's first focus on where you are right now because this actually seems quite, you know, very important. So let's see what's going on here now. Boom, 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 Mary. There is. What do we have for Aries? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So, interestingly, yeah. Um, by not sort of forcing yourself to make a choice and make a decision, by not putting that sort of pressure on you that you might actually put on you sometimes, um, Yes, a beautiful cycle of completion taking here, emotional completion. The interaction that you have with others. It's like the universe is working things out for you on your behalf and they start spinning in a positive direction, which you might not even be, you know, kind of like private to at the moment. I like that. Let's see. Yep. Love, 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 love. love. All right. So some of you, especially those of you that maybe, you know, might have gotten involved with somebody, especially if it's recent, um, you know, um, it's like finally giving a special connection a chance. And it's, it's actually quite nice. You know, there's not that usual sort of overthinking and things that normally takes place. Also, you know, going forward, what this current situation is bringing towards you, is and this is nice because this is finding light in the dark it's giving you that um it's, it's actually kind of giving you the platform that you require to do that sort of inner healing you know um to to build it in a strength for that magic to unfold actually for you this is actually quite incredible i love seeing that i really do let's see new starts new beginnings stability um, I love this because you know why I love this um, going forward you are actually you know really fully choosing yourself a lot of people really miss this about Aries you know um, and I see it a lot of times when people also explain Aries you know um, they'll be like Aries always just go for themselves and what they want to have and you know they always place themselves first um, but I, I think the thing that people often don't understand about Aries is that when you do place yourself first but when you place yourself first you don't just it, it's not just you know it's every sentence doesn't start with me and i um you have the thing where you understand sort of it's almost like automatically just understanding that everything and everyone is part of who you are you know that you're getting to have an individual experience of life but you understand that everything you do impacts everybody probably more than other people do and i feel that you're very aware of that and a lot of people don't understand that so um if you are cross watching and you know um people ever bring that up about areas please please let them see things in a um in a clearer light okay let's see yeah so there is a lot of letting go there's a lot of um you know you take on a lot of baggage of other people um and there's a there's a there's a release from that there's a healing from that because it's like you can find yourself almost like in a flat panic sometimes over things that you know it's it, it, it's all fine and well to be there for others but yeah it's coming to an end it, it doesn't mean that you have to take all the baggage on all the time 
okay you are i feel that you're finding because i feel for many of you you're not really going to stop doing that um so it's like you're finding a beautiful amicable solution within all of that so it doesn't run you down so much anymore okay and if it resonates with you more than welcome to like share comment and subscribe let's grab you an oracle card and we are grabbing the sacred traveler beautiful deck that was given to me as a gift by my sister I'm so lucky, I'm so blessed, I get all these beautiful, beautiful things. And you guys are going to see in the next reading, probably in the next reading, um, you know, all the money. What I like to do is, when I get money from donations, whatever money I get from donations, um, I like to invest it back into the channel. So, um, on the Black Friday special that recently ran, um, I got this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, Himalayan rock salt lamb, but it's a huge one. Um, and... So, you know, I've been keeping, it, it wasn't, it, it was actually quite expensive, but it was cheap for, you know what I mean, like it's expensive, but it's cheap for the product. Um, it was still a beautiful bargain, and so hopefully by the time I do my love readings next, it will be, uh... okay, so you got two cards. The one says, walk in beauty, wondrous universe. This is reminding you that you can take on all the worries of the world and you can show the, all the responsibilities of the world. You can do all of that, but don't forget that you are a magical, wonderful, incredible being, okay? Don't forget to still give that love to yourself. Don't forget that you are a perfect divine being worthy of love, all right? Um, because you are loved so beautifully. Um, yeah, you can just bring out the best in everyone. And there we go, transformation. Beautiful thing coming to you. A fresh new way of living emerges because it's almost like you're asking for help, but you're not going to change what you're doing <laughs> specifically. So life is giving you that helping hand so that you're able to, you know, still be awesome you, but not, um, you know, not sort of like at the cost of you. Right. Let's see what we've got for you for message from the universe for... 2021 for Aries, please. Okay. What's going on? <laughs> okay, Mama, let's see. I also see that you are opening your heart, you know, you are opening your heart, you are healing from, because look at that, that page of emotions, this page of cups, so you're opening your heart, there's a, there's a, um, there's a safe opening of the heart, you know, there's a release from a lot of things that might have held you back before, there's a release of that nervousness, there's your inner sanctuary shining, shining through, uh, there's healing from a lot of the past, this is you seeing how strong you actually are, three of voices, three of swords, um, followed by the seven of emotions, which is also the seven of cups, and I actually want to draw you one more card, um, this is you really, um, I feel for many of you, it's almost like you had these sort of walls up, you know, these protective barriers up. And this is you moving past that. Um, I don't really see it all happening all at once, like a boom, but I do see beautiful growth taking place for you guys. Okay, I'm just going to take one from the bottom of the deck. Muse of inspiration, lovely. Inspiration is wands. There we go. Balancing, because this is king of wands. And this is balancing of emotions. Um, that healthy balance that you are finding. Because some of you, you're sort of running yourself just a little bit on empty there. All right? So, um, no more running on empty. So beautiful. I really wish from my heart that 2021 is the most beautiful year of your life. May it be wonderful, may it be blessed, may it be fantastic, and so it is. Namaste.